Hello, this is Mr. Knight. This is Algebra Chapter 1.1, Evaluating Expressions. So let's uh, go through these couple of slides right here. Uh, when you are asked to evaluate an expression, they're going to give you the value of a variable. Obviously, you're going to have a variable within your expression. That's why it's called a uh, variable expression. All you do is substitute in the, the value in for the variable. So when n is 3, I have 13 times a 3. Uh, and obviously, if you simplify that, you get 39. Another example, n over 9, that would, uh, 9 over n, excuse me, would be the same thing as 9 over substitute the 3 in for the n, which gives me 3. Go ahead and simplify that, and your answer would be 3. Um, and then reading and writing powers. Well, if you remember, uh, powers, um, this whole thing is actually a power. That is a power. That is a power. What you have is a base, which is the 7, a base, which is a 5 a base which is z and then you have the exponent which in this case is 1 exponent is 2 exponent is 5 um, so if you have to read these let me erase this real quick if you have to read these this would be 7 to the first power or 7 to the power of 1 5 to the second power 5 squared or 5 to the power of 2 uh, z to the fifth power or z to, uh, z to the power of five. So um, that's how you kind of read and write those. So let's see what's next here. Uh, evaluating powers, evaluate the expression x to the fourth when x is two. All you do is substitute the x in, uh, the value for x into your expression. So I have two to the fourth power, uh, and I know two to the fourth would be, what is that, 16? Uh, two, four, eight, 16, yep, 16. And then if I look at d to the fourth when d is one-third, um, well, this would be one-third to the fourth power. That makes it four, one to the fourth power over three to the fourth power. Uh, <clears throat> so I know that one to the fourth power is one, three to the fourth power, um, three times three is nine, times three is 27, times three is 81. Uh, so my answer in that case would be one over 81. Then another type of problem is you could have a, you're looking at area here or you're looking at volume here. You know that the formula for square uh, area is equal to S squared, whatever your S length is, and volume is equal to S cubed, again, whatever your S um, value is. <clears throat> so if let's say that our S is 2, let's say our S is 3. So if I wanted to look at area, um, I know that area is, is, would be S squared or 2 squared. So the area in this case would be 4 units, whatever units are. Uh, and then if I look at volume, volume is S cubed. I know that S is 3, so it would be 3 cubed. Uh, 3 cubed would be 27, and my units would be U units. Okay. Uh, and that concludes your evaluating expressions. Pretty uh, short and sweet. So have an awesome day, and we'll see you tomorrow.